A Pasco County 10th grader is preparing to go back to school after living through a beating on her school bus. The teen tells our Ashley Glass she's scared. She doesn't know what to expect once she's back in class less than 24 hours from now. Ashley's live outside the girls' school, J.W. Mitchell High School in Trinity. Ashley, you really got a feel for this kid. You do, Brandon. Good evening to you. Three students total involved in this school bus beating. They all go here, Mitchell High School, and as you're about to see, one student throwing the punches, one student taking the punches, another filming the whole thing. And I need to warn you, this video is violent. 10th grader Chase Christia waking up to an apology note. I'm so sorry, Chase. Sorry for this. <laughs> an 11th grader beating Christia on their moving school bus Friday. Oh my oh. God! No, stop! She did stop. We count 11 blows later. This video, as it appears, shared on a Facebook page. Nobody was doing anything, so she was just like hitting me, and it just felt like it was on and on and on. Christia still wearing hospital wristbands, telling us she was treated for bruising and that the whole thing started because she stood up for a friend. I'll be able to forgive her later on, but not now. For now, Christia's mother has questions like, why didn't the bus driver help? I don't think he should be driving the bus. And what's next for the 11th grader doing the punching and the student filming? I would like to see these girls removed from her school because I'm scared for her. The school principal telling us both are suspended for at least 10 days. The Pasco sheriff saying both now face misdemeanor charges. As for Christia. I'm going back to school and I'm kind of nervous. Her principal assuring Christia will be in close touch with administrators when she comes back Thursday. She'll be able to put a, a, some of those fears to rest. Stop! I think we have a very empathetic school community and they don't tolerate these kind of things. People shouldn't be going through what I have gone through. In another terrible twist to this story, deputies telling me late tonight the high school girl seen throwing the punches in that video is in the hospital right now. Baker acted after making threats to harm herself. The school district also telling me late tonight that the school bus driver involved faces no disciplinary action for now, although the school district stresses that they are still investigating, working alongside the sheriff's office, trying to get to the bottom of all of the day's events that led up to that school bus beating. We are live in Trinity tonight. Ashley Glass, ABC Action News.